Hi there, I'm Mike the Zorch, and this is virtual reality. I love VR. I absolutely just, I can't get enough of it. Although I don't spend as much time in VR as I would really like. But uh, I started my VR experience with a Samsung Odyssey headset. It's a Windows Mixed Reality headset, and it was a, a, a pretty good experience. I mean, the tracking wasn't great for the controllers, but it was what got my foot in the door, what made me want to experience the virtual reality. And so when I decided that I was going to take the next step, well, I wanted to get an HTC Vive, and well, unfortunately, HTC didn't sell the regular Vive anymore. They sold the Vive Pro, which is really expensive. And that is one of the roadblocks that's getting in the way of a lot of people adopting it. The other roadblock is some people experience motion sickness in VR. And luckily, I was not one of them. I was very glad that I wasn't one of them because I would have been missing out on some truly amazing experiences here. So I waited until a virtually pristine used full set of the HTC Vive with the lighthouses and controllers and headset was on eBay. And when it finally showed up, I finally grabbed it when I could. And I have been enjoying VR ever since. Because the best VR experiences can be enjoyed only on PC with Steam VR. Now there is the the Oculus the Oculus um, Rift and that series of headsets. Now I know that they're not technically compatible with the Vive and uh, Steam VR. There is a service called Vive Ports that let you experience those games on your Vive. It's a subscription service. I haven't bought into it yet, but there are some games that were on the Rift that I've been wanting to experience. Some of them have been coming over to Steam VR so people can, all different headsets can experience it. And then there's the OpenXR uh, API and OpenXR is making VR headsets interoperable, meaning that if it's made for one headset uh, using the standard, then it can work on any other VR headset, regardless of whether or not it works with a different standard or not. The Vive utilizes the Steam VR tracking. You can't see it here, but there are two lighthouses up on my walls. And these are beaming invisible lasers into my room that are being picked up by the sensors on the controllers that I'm using, the, which have the finger tracking, and with my headset. Now, these are the Valve Index controllers, and they were a little expensive. And the Valve Index itself is really expensive. The reason why I didn't get a Valve Index, even though I could have gotten it, is because I wanted the OLED displays. OLED has those deep blacks, whereas the Index has an LCD display. And when you're in a dark scene, you can tell because you have that bleed through from the backlight. And that's not ideal in virtual reality. I mean, I know that the Index is really super popular because it is got so many great features it's got that port on the front that you can put various stuff in and people have done some amazing things with it and the audio quality is really good uh, my best friend tigra has an index and he also has a vibe which is how i was able to experience the vibe and that's why i was so obsessed with getting one finally because I absolutely loved the experience with the Vive and I've experienced the index and I although the index does look better I still prefer the Vive quality 
Now you can experience VR yourself, even though you may not have an Uber machine or you may not even own a computer at all. You can experience VR in a, in a way, and everyone should at least experience VR in some way. Now, one way you can do this is look for various um, arcade venues that have virtual reality. There are some, they're, they're not a whole lot, I think there's a, like a few in Las Vegas, uh, some in Florida. You have to go searching for them. They're not everywhere. And, and they're, they're VR experiences that you can sign up to enjoy and try there. I do not know of any places where you can actually go and actually try on a VR headset before you buy it. Uh, it really don't see any places where you can do that unless you happen to know somebody who actually already owns a, a headset and you can ask them if you want to try it but there is a way that you can try a form of vr that you may already own you might already actually own this if you have a good cell phone you can experience virtual reality now, it's not the greatest virtual reality. VR on a PC or on the MetaQuest 2, which is another good option I'll talk about. You know, you can, it's the, it's the more preferred way of experiencing VR, but you can experience it on a cell phone. Now you will need a way to mount the phone to your face. And that is really inexpensive. The headsets that are that will hold iPhones or uh, the various um, flagship phones. If you, you have one of those, like a Samsung Galaxy or a, you know, a Pix, Google Pixel or any of the other flagship phones of various sizes, there are mounts for that will let you wear them on your face and. There are controllers that you can hold that will let you experience VR. They may not give you the full range of motion controls like you get in Steam VR, you know, but, um, or with the uh, Oculus, Oculus Rift, or with the MetaQuest 2, they may not give you the full range, but at least you'll be able to get your foot in the door and actually see what VR is all about some experience of it if you own a nintendo switch you can also experience a form of virtual reality now there's there's those games that came with cardboard stuff that's like educational things for kids that even adults played around with one of those came with a headset that you put the switch inside so that you can um use it as a vr headset and there are some, uh, I, I've seen them, there are some options that you can get that are also really inexpensive too, that you can put your Switch in and hold it in your face and hold the Joy-Cons as controllers and uh, play games. Now, two games that I know of that have VR modes is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let me iterate, you will not get motion controls with these games. You will play them like you normally do, but you will see a 3D view. It'll be like watching your game in three dimension in 3D. Sort of like if you had 3D goggles on. So it's not true VR, but it gives you the 3D look. And you'll be able to tell whether or not you get motion sickness or not from it if you don't get motion sickness from any of this from you doing vr with your phone or doing vr with your switch you will probably do okay in vr with a quest 2 or if you decide to go through the expense of getting you know a good enough pc you know you don't have to have a two thousand dollar machine to do vr i mean all you need really is a decent AMD or Intel machine with a NVIDIA um, 20, 
2070 or 3070 or 4070 um, RTX card, really. You don't need anything big and fancy. I mean, a, a, a 2070 will do just fine. I'm, I'm using a 1080 on an AMD system. My, mach my machine cost about uh, $600 to build. No. So you don't need to build an Uber machine. Although if you want to have the best of everything, you know, it's going to cost you a little bit. And that's that's one of the roadblocks that's blocking people from getting into VR is, you know, it can be expensive. Though there are inexpensive alternatives. Again, there's the MetaQuest 2, which can be used with Steam VR via a link. Uh, with the USB-C, I believe also they've been able to get the Wi-Fi working, so you can connect it via Wi-Fi. Although there is a little bit of uh, latent, there is some latency. You want to have a good Wi-Fi connection to your PC uh, when you use this, and um, it works. A lot of games, especially those that are compatible with um, OpenXR, will work with the MetaQuest 2 with Steam VR games. And I believe VR Chat is one of them. In fact, VR Chat is native on the MetaQuest 2, which is where I'm at right now. I am in VR Chat. This is uh, the starting home for VR Chat. This app is absolutely amazing. There are so many experiences to be had here that you can only have in VR. Yes, yes, there is a desktop mode for, you know, VR chat. So you can experience it in 2D without needing a VR headset at all. But that sort of defeats the purpose of VR chat. You lose so much in translation using VR chat on your desktop. I mean, it, you can do it, but you lose so much. There's nothing like actually being here in your headset. It's truly, truly amazing. And you've got to at least experience it once. And throughout these videos, I'm going to be talking about VR, my experiences in VR chat. And um, I'll be bringing you along as I discover new amazing places in here. I can't show you everything. There are some not safe for work places in here. Um, but I can at least bring you along for the ride and show you things in this world that are absolutely stunning. Now, um, also... Uh, I won't always be talking about VR. I may be talking about all sorts of different subjects. You know, I've got so many things to talk about. Oh, if you're wondering, I do know what's going on with the professor. Uh, I know that he's, he's sort of in a different world himself. I, I made him. I made him in his world. I'm a gamer. So I made him in his world and he's stuck in his own version of VR. And uh, I talked to Chloe. I'm not, she's not sure exactly where he is. Um, but from what I understand, his adventures have been popping up here on Rumble and on YouTube. So um, we'll be able to track what's happening to him what's going on uh the last time we looked in on him he was having some problems with the store i hope he can figure that out uh i i i don't know how we can help him there's no way to contact him except maybe through um you know comments apparently when he's sleeping in that world he can see the comments of people so I'm hoping that uh, he can make it back to the world he belongs in, the world that I created for him and everyone else in, in that world. I mean, they need him there and he needs to get back home. 
So we'll be keeping an eye on the professor and everything, making sure that he's going to be all right. I really hope that he's able to solve his problem. And as for me, I'm going to be talking about all sorts of things. Virtual reality, gaming, everything. This is something that I'm really passionate about, especially VR. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So, thank you for watching. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.